Now, hello friends. In this video, I am going to show you. I am going to explain uh, what is a data set and how to uh, configure and run the data set in Pega. Okay. So, what is meant by the data set? Data and set. Set is nothing but a collection set one set is nothing but a collection of a similar items collection of a similar items a set of books okay set of one set of papers similarly one set of data one set of data that means a collection of data data set is nothing but a collection of data usually where will you use this data set mainly the data set will be used in the data flows the data set is used in the data flows that means source to target i have a one source data then i can transform the data then i can push the data etc but mainly because here i am talking about only data set part i am not talking about a data flow part will i'll make a different video so just it is a collection of the data how do you collect the data and how do you collect the data okay now we will see We'll see how to create a simple data set in Pega. Now in my previous video also I have explained about the Kafka data set. Now just click on create a simple data set. My data set name is um, collecting data. Collecting data now very very important uh, point here is uh, type of uh, type of data set that means uh, what i told you data set is nothing but a collection of data that means uh, from somewhere from somewhere you can fetch the data and saving the data from somewhere you can pull or fetch the data and saving into this data set into this data set so what type of data i mean to say so you are you are pulling or fetching the data either from the database table or from the file system or from the uh, kafka streaming as i just in uh, five minutes back um, i posted one video uh, which is which is a kafka streaming so that means what what is the source system you are pulling the data from a database table or you are see this one here there are different types of options database management system dbm file system it's a general and it is a social that means you can pull the data either from the facebook or youtube as well streaming stream services so so you have to select the type you are fetching the data you are pulling the data from where either you are from the database table or from the file or from the social or from the stream etc depends upon the depends upon the type the data set behavior will be changed that means the data set type will be changed there are two types right stream data set and non stream data set stream data set and non stream data set if i select a kafka it would be a stream data set that means the data continuously flow into the data set the data continuously flow into the data set from a source now here i don't want to because in my past video i have already explained about the stream non stream that means non stream in the sense there is no continuous flow just i want to pull the data from a source and saving the data into the data set that's it after that there is there is no more connection and there is no more flow okay now here i am selecting a database table click on create and open click on create and open so since i have created the data set in my work car loan class it is automatically the database table name is automatically taking this one the database table name is automatically taking pc sbi loan etc because this class is mapped to this database table so that means i am pulling the data or fetching the data from this database table 
See next one is selectable keys. Define one or more properties to query the data set. To achieve the good performance, make sure to use the properties mapped to indexed database columns. So now what I am doing is add a key. So that here selectable keys, I, because I am just selecting only PZ INS key. PZ INS key define a property to distribute read operations across a different nodes to achieve the best performance. Uh, make sure to use a partition key properly with not too many and not too few distinct values. So basically, this is this partition key will be used to achieve the best performance. To achieve the best performance, that means. Um, for example, I have a one database table. The database table contains a lakhs of records, lakhs of records. Now, what I want to do, if I want to configure this data set, if I want to run this data set on a multiple nodes, on a different nodes, on a different nodes, that means uh, uh, not only single server, multiple servers. So in each server, the data set will be executed. But while pulling the data, this partition key will be useful. This partition key will be useful. Partition key means uh, grouping of the data. For example, in this table, I have a 10 records. Assuming in this table, I have a 10 records. Out of 10 records, three records are home loan and three records are car loan and remaining four records are uh, credit card loan etc so now if you want to process 10 records by a single node instead of that because if you want to process these 10 records by a single node it will take a time but when your data set is running on a multiple nodes based on this partition key in one node it will pull set of data in another node it will pull another set of data in another node it will pull another set of data based on the partition key so that's why define a property to distribute a read operations across a different nodes to achieve the best performance make sure to use a partition key property with not too many and not too few distinct values that means you distinct values also not too many it's a limited distinct values that means uh, your records can be segregated your records can be segregated based on what value based on what value based on the loan type or based on a loan category or based on the loan status etc this is the partition key now i am giving uh, uh, my partition key is uh, loan number my partition key is loan number just click on save Now just click on run. Now the operation here, the operation you want to select browse, browse by a keys, delete by a keys, save, truncate. Now my intention is I want to pull the data. Just click on browse. Maximum number of records to read is 50 and result is and you click on run. The result will be saved into the operation result. See the data set preview. So total 50 records I am fetching. See total 50 records I am fetching from the particular table. Okay, this is result 1 and this is result 2. This is result 3. This is result 4 and this is result 5 etc. Like this uh, I can fetch the data. Next one is <coughs> Browse by a keys. What is the key name? What is the key name? Select a PZINS key and just please add the which PZINS key. If you want, you can add a PZINS key value also. PZINS keys. Okay. So like this, browse by a keys or if you want, you can delete by a keys. You can save the values into the database table using this data set as well. Not only fetching there are different types of operations okay but ultimately ultimately the data set can be used to pull the data and store the data 
pull the data and store the data so this is the just a simple example about the data set in pega so mainly the data sets will be used in the data flows concept thank you